Hello, my name is Shreda Valuru. I'm a product manager from ARM. Uh, I manage the uh, system uh, uh, IP uh, products at ARM. And along with me is Swami Venkateshan from Cadence. He's a senior solutions architect at Cadence focusing on uh, SOC verification methodologies. Uh, Swami has uh, uh, more than 18 years of uh, SOC verification experience and has been with Cadence for 12 years. Uh, his focus is Perspec Portable Stimulus. Today's topic is primarily about how do we integrate PCIe Gen 4 uh, complex IP into an ARM-based server SOC application, and what are the challenges that we deal with uh, in integrating the IPs. Uh, and I will basically be talking more about the SOC platform and what are the various components from ARM IP that come into the picture in this integration process. And Swami will introduce the tools and techniques used for verification, verifying the PCI Gen 4 IP along with the ARM IP. So what are the challenges that we deal with when integrating PCI IP? PCI IP is a fairly complex IO uh, protocol that's been prevalent in the industry for quite some time now. Uh, majority of the IO subsystems in an infrastructure SOC are interfaced to the platform using PCIe. Uh, a poor performing PCIe could significantly throttle the system performance and effectively uh, make the server system ineffective. Uh, the integration of the PCIe presents significant challenges, not just from a protocol point of view, but from uh, the, the additional feature sets that are relevant for the entire uh, platform. Things like uh, system virtualization and I, uh, IO coherency, uh, and new protocols that PCIe Gen 4 integrates, like address translation services. Uh, these things require not just focus on an IP-based solution, but an overall system-based solutions, where the cross-dependencies matter uh, between the various IPs in the system SOC. A typical ARM-based infrastructure SOC looks like the figure shown, where you have clusters of Cortex-A ARM cores attached to the system fabric using a mesh-based uh, uh, fabric and in ARM's portfolio, which we call ARM Core Link CMN 600. The interrupts are controlled by ARM GIG 600 uh, IP, and the MMU 600 IP provides you the IO virtualization capabilities for uh, the PCI root complex. In addition to these key components, you also have memory controllers talking to the various uh, DDR files, and uh, the associated debug uh, uh, and boot functionalities. So what are the key challenges that a PCI subsystem um, uh, deals with, has to deal with when integrating into the ARM subsystem? We have to enable single root IO virtualization, and we have to validate the address translation services and the associated PRI functionality. We need to ensure the interrupts are translated and transferred to the appropriate course, uh, and that translation and transfer has to be optimized. And we have to meet the uh, meet and sustain the PCI Gen 4 bandwidth, which is 32 gigabytes per second read and 32 gigabytes per second write throughput for a by, by 16 lane PCI. I will hand over the uh, the conversation the baton to uh, Swami to talk about the verification challenges and how they were uh, overcome. Thank you, Sridhar. Uh, I would like to talk about uh, the verification challenges uh, when you bring in a PCI Express uh, IP into your SOC. PCI Express continues to be the primary connection between an application processor and an I.O. device, uh, like a gigabit Ethernet or an SSD, and other high-speed communication peripherals and accelerators. So bringing in PCI Express IP, it's, it's extremely important that the SOC verification engineer starts verifying the integration aspects so that it meets all the functional and performance requirements as 
architected. Uh, to verify such an integration uh, requires a very good verification plan. Uh, these include basic bring up test cases that allow you to uh, test uh, bring up scenarios. This includes uh, tests that, that ensure that the PCI Express registers are accessible from all your uh, uh, relevant application processes. The IT functionality is checked under different configuration schemes as defined in the SOC. And then you're able to, have, you're able to do basic memory integration scenarios. Uh, the basic bring up tests ensure that your PCI Express is alive for further uh, advanced testing. <clears throat> The next level of testing uh, comes into integration tests, where you check the producer-consumer producer model. Uh, the PC Express memory space test scenarios are, are verified. You check for all the legacy and message signal interrupt schemes, and also uh, check for error <coughs> scenarios. The PC Express also goes through, uh, integration verification goes through both parallel pipe and serial interface uh, test scenarios. Once you get the integration test case passing, we go on to more advanced test scenarios. These are scenarios that allow you to verify the PCI Express uh, in the context of a ARM, a CPU subsystem. Uh, these include tests uh, which are address translation services, uh, which, which pretty much allow uh, MMU-like capabilities into endpoints that we're sharing the page tables between the main SOC and the endpoint uh, in hardware. We also need to check the PCI Express ordering rules, all the different error uh, generation mechanisms, uh, the, the TLP payload hints, which allow uh, things like cache stashing, a uh, lot of I.O. virtualization tests, performance analysis tests, and other Gen 4 features like interrupt virtualization. All these advanced features require a complex play between your uh, coherency scenarios that are running on the ARM processors, the page table information that are stored in your SOC, and also the PCI Express uh, IP that's in your SOC. While doing the entire test scenario, we also need to continuously collect coverage that we measure our progress against the verification goals. So how do we go about uh, verifying PCI Express? Typical PCI Express integration verification requires users to create test scenarios that are easily adapted and ported between multiple execution platforms. Uh, Perspect Portable Stimulus today comes with a built-in library that allows users to create test scenarios uh, specifically targeting ARM, um, ecosystem and PC Express uh, Gen 4 IP and allows you to create scenarios that can port across multiple platforms. Such scenarios allow users to uh, create a lots of test cases within a matter of hours. These test cases work uh, in conjunction with your uh, ARM coherency CPU subsystem. Uh, the fact that we Perspect provides an ARM library and a PCI Express library allows users to bring up test cases in a few minutes. You can also allow users to visualize the test scenario that they have developed in a, in a GUI using a UML diagram. Uh, they can visualize and see different scheduling mechanisms and also uh, elaborate the entire test space. These test cases can later be easily configured to run on different platforms, a, including Exilium simulation, Palladium emulator, or Proteum-based prototyping platforms. All these test cases that we generate come from a common input and a common test intent that the, that is, that the user orchestrates either from the libraries, the built-in scenarios in the libraries, or other use case that he has in mind. So in summary, uh, PCI Express support is getting critical to enable SOC to deliver complex functionality and high performance. Integration and validating PCI Express is very complex, uh, requires a full library support that can uh, create scenarios both for the ARM CPU subsystem and also the PCI Express uh, IP. 
you need to have a comprehensive verification plan along with a, a test suite that can easily adapt to different execution platforms all the way from simulation to emulation to fast prototyping platforms. ARM and Kerens have worked together and create a lot of advanced verification techniques which simplify this integration uh, verification challenge. And with Perl Perfect Portable Stimulus and its built-in ARM and PC Express library, we are able to provide very high productivity boost and significant out-of-box uh, test suite that can work across all, plat all platforms uh, using the built-in ARM library and PC Express uh, library scenarios. All right, so thank you all for joining this uh, presentation. I would like to explicitly thank Sridhar Valduru from ARM for enlightening us with the integration challenges when bringing in a PC Express IP. Thank you all for joining this call. Thank you, Swami.